Hey guys, welcome back to another one of Captain Death's videos where today we are going to be playing the one, the amazing Jurassic World. So, my last episode was a couple of days ago. Um, I haven't done one since then. And, um, I'm sorry for that, I just had stuff going on. I wasn't able to record for a little bit, but here I am, I'm gonna do it, so just forget about that. Um, we already did this What Lives Beneath as soon as it came out. I don't really have patience. So what we're going to do is the arena showcase for the Kula Suchas and the Monsters of the Deep. So that should be a little bit fun. So last time that I did this, I was trying to get this Indominus Rex. And I said whenever I came back, I would have the level 20 Indominus Rex. That was part of the reason why I couldn't do one because I didn't have it for a little bit. Um, but yeah, I did have to spend money on it. And my park is also rearranged. So right now if you just like go like right here you're like oh no my park is gone but if you go up here you then see that it's been all rearranged all of it so i'm planning on just doing this throughout the entire thing oops okay yeah i'm also using a very bad charger so that may pop up a couple of times i'm gonna try my best not for it not to pop up but it's just gonna there's nothing that i can really do my charger just sucks Okay, so let's collect all of our coins, and once we do that, we'll start with the, um, Monster of the Deep. Sorry, I couldn't think of the name. Okay, so, oh yeah, this is the level, oh, oops, where is it? It's over here, right? The level 20 Indominus Rex. This thing is sick. It's so powerful. It just looks amazing too. It's just gonna make me angry and piss them off. Over here, buddy, has like the little tiny devil horns on its head. It's pretty cool. It doesn't sell as much as the rest would sell for, it, but that's it's not like it's by that much DNA, and it's way better, way better. So let's go over here. No, I would not like to quit the game. Okay, um, let's go to Monsters of the Deep. We have this dude that can be taken out by a cave, so it's simple. Um, I don't want to use some meat shield. That guy can take him out. We're counting on you, Dacosaur. Counting on you. Okay, this should be really easy. This is like a two-shot kill. So, I'm going to go for one reserve. He's going to come in with two. He's not going to attack. And then I have three, and now I'm going to attack here. There we go. One. Pretty easy. These bots in the aquatic are different. Oops are different than um, most bots like it, not most bots but the bots in a regular battle arena like the ones on land they're they're different i believe the water ones are easier because you can predict what's going to happen like it's a lot safer to predict that's why i kept them there we go look at that usually i would have to use my reef by now but i don't have to okay so he comes in here Go for the one reserve, two, and now, oh, he went for two attack, which means he can kill me in one. Let's just move that so we can see what's up. Okay, so now we come in. He went for two, so one, three can kill him, and this dude can't kill me in three, so that's fine. Okay, Ammonite just took him down. So this guy comes in here with 77 attack damage. What are you, like a level 40 common? Uh, so three reserve. Um, that's gonna bump me up to six. It should, or it's gonna bump me up to seven. Yeah, seven. And then let's just say forget about it. Bye-bye. Yeah, I didn't wanna do that extra one because I knew I could kill him in six and I didn't really wanna wait for that whole little clip to play where he's attacking and stuff. That isn't. It's not that it isn't fun. I've already seen them all, and it just gets boring, and you just have to wait through it. It's not worth it. Yay, DNA. Okay, what, who's in here? Okay, so we got the Megalodon, which can be taken out by a reef. Then this guy comes in here, which can be taken out by... No, no, no. What I want to do, I want to put my Dunk. I want to put Dunky in first. Then I want to put the Chronosaur in. That way, it can battle. And then the Megalodon will be taken out by the Styxiosaur. Yes. Is, am I right? 
Am I right? I'm not too sure. I think I can do it. I think the sticks your sticks. I think it's gonna come down to the Stixosaurus. Okay, so I'm just going to non-stop do reserves and only blocks if they're absolutely necessary. Okay, so three again. Okay, so then we also has three. Oh, this game is lagging a little bit. It's only because I'm trying to screen record play and charge my phone is working. Okay, good. He attacked with all that he has. That that's what I was looking for right there, where I have about eight reserve, and he attacked with everything he had. Okay, so two, four, and then two. There we go. That should work. Now he's gonna come in with this other dude. This um, I don't like. I'm gonna call them ultimates. The ultimate dinosaur. No, that doesn't really make that much sense. Um, they wouldn't be called legendary. I don't want to call them special because that makes them sound like they have a problem. Um, so... Ooh, that wasn't enough. Oh well. Okay, so he's gonna come in now. He has to, why are you doing this to me? Stop it! So, I don't know what to call him. Cool, so he had to use one block. That was really nice. I don't know what to call him. I'm gonna guess call them just ultimates. I don't know their name. Like, if they have a special. Two should kill it. Okay, I'm not sure if he had a block there. I knew that I could kill him in one hit, but I was just making sure that he didn't ha did not have a block. So Megalodon comes in with four. I have the one block and the four reserve, so he's gonna take that as five blocks, and he's not going to attack, and here's where I can attack now. Now this, it's like almost absolutely necessary to use all of my goes, even though he didn't even block. But it's always good taking the safer road than the riskier road. Even though the riskier road is more fun, but it's much safer. That way, and right now, we're not looking for risky. We're looking for safe. And we're still having fun. Look at that. We're killing two birds with one stone that's attached to an arrow from a double bow and arrow bow. There you go. If that made sense, then give yourself a thumbs up. Super rare pack. Okay, so we got some DNA which I, which I needed. I can sell this dude for even more DNA. Good. Good, good, good. I think I want to put in actually um, another cool suitcase. That's what I'm gonna try to do. I'm trying to get this coolest suit smashed. That way I'll be on my way to getting the um cool suitosaurus or whatever you want to call it. Anyway, let's feed these guys the Hey, little salamander. Oh my god, I wish they had like a feed all or or something like that where they had like a fully fed so we don't have to keep on. Like right now, you guys can't see it. But I'm, oh my god, my finger is just hurting. Woohoo, yay, we did it. First try, that was the first. I've never had a first try with a rare. I don't think I have. I think it's always been right away. I'm not too sure. I don't want to ponder on the thoughts a lot. just want to get this over with. Okay. No, let's not go to market. Um, let's place our building where all of our other buildings are right over here. Can fail in that slot? No. Someone needs to start failing in the slot. That's one. This slot right here. I need to find something that fits right here. Like right where he is? Right there. What is binging my phone? I don't know what's binging my phone, but something's going on. I'm not sure. It's probably just my charge. You can probably see that little bubble come in and out. Okay, Arena Showcase. Let's take him out. Okay. So, I'm thinking it can't kill my dude in one hit. And it does not have a difference in attack. So it's not going to switch in. So if I put my coolest suitcase in there, and then I put it, I throw in my pterodon. No, because I'm gonna need something to take out him. I want to sort of put in my Dominus Rex here because I have two herbivores, level 30 legendaries, that I need to take out. Or this is hard. I don't need two of them. 
I just need to switch in. So I can put in my Dimitron. And then my Pterodon. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Oh, and it can kill me in one hit. Oh, that won't work. Damn it. That really sucks big time. Okay, so I have an idea. We put in the coolest reaches. He goes for two of his goes. Two of them. All I'm asking for is two of them. Or you know what? No, 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 no. I put it in the Dimitron. Right? And then he has a difference. So he's going to switch into the Ichio Stega. And then I'll switch into the coolest reaches. Saurus. Or, no, just the coolest suitors. What is it even called? Kula Suchus. Then I, okay, so the Dimitron comes in with that dude, the big dude with the long neck. And then he switches into the Ichio Stega, right? So then whenever I have the Ichio Stega, I'll switch into the Kula Suchus and then I should be able to, and I should, I'm just saying I should be able to just keep on reserving. If it doesn't work, then I'm screwed big time. But hey, looks like we're taking the risky road because the safe road is making us wait a long time for these guys to hatch. Okay, so here we go. We're starting off. We're going to put in a one reserve. So whenever this level 29 Ichio Stega comes in, it will not kill us. Then, see, this is where it gets fun. I switch into the... Oh, sorry, I'm yawning. Oh, this is where it gets fun. Okay, so now I switch into the coolest Suchas. He comes in, he has three. Oh, he can kill me, so he's gonna go for all out three attack. I'm gonna have two reserves, so that'll work, that'll work. I just need to get rid of this dude. Two should be able, no, three will do it. And then one reserve. Now, oh, they're, they will attack though, this sucks. Four. No, they're not at four. They're at three, which means they won't attack. Yeah, three. Yes, you're three. Okay, so he will not attack. Oh, he may attack because I don't. Dang it! Oh, this is getting harder and harder and harder and harder, and then harder. And more harder. Yeah, I don't think I'm missing. Three kills him. I may win this. This will be really close. Yeah, I think I won. Oh man, that was close. That was like nerve-wracking close. And this was only the first battle. How was this fair? See, this is what the Indominus does to you. You super good dinosaur, and then they put in super good, super good legendary dinosaurs and stuff like that. Level 30s. Now, I'm not saying I can't take them out. I can, except it's very stressful. They keep you on the edge, and it's just not right. Okay, so, great, the Suchamimus, I'm gonna have to, do I need to still put in the coolest switches rare? Maybe not, let me just see if I, so Ichigo Stega can take him out, the coolest switches will need to be destroyed by him. I do have a Dimorphodon, really loving that. Um, oh, and then we have the other Dimorphodon, which can be taken out by my Stegoceratops. I might as well put him in. Yeah, I want to. F I definitely am going to need to feed up my Dimorphodon to max out. Really didn't want to. Is that See, there it goes. Okay, so I need to plug this thing. Guess it wasn't. There we go. Now it's on. Okay, so this is maxed out. That's a little bit better. I mean, it's always better than nothing. So, so he's maxed out now. So I put in the Diploator, and then I put in the Dimorphodon, and then on top of that, we put in the Stegoceratops. Dang it! Then we put on the second third tops. Yeah, I figured. It was worth a try. Good try, though. Good try. So, I can't put in my... Oh, my God. This is hard. The coolest you just... Comes in. He's 217 attack. I mean, health. The Suchamimus is going to be brought down to 200-something. So, 
if I bring in my... So let's just get these all out. So Ichio Stega comes in. Now he's going to have the advantage, so Suchimimus is going to switch into Demorphodon. And then... No, I can't switch in there. So... No, sorry, Diploider. I'm not going to use Ichio Stega. Because for my last battle, I'm going full out with the Indominus, Sarcosuchus, and Spinor after. Okay, so let's just rethink this one more time. Diploider comes in, Suchimima switches out to Demorphodon. Demorphodon is going to be killed by my Stegoceratops. Switching those two around, which means I want him to be there. So I don't want to put my that dude there yet. That way, once they're, if it's at the end, they'll just switch and they'll come into that position. And then I'm going to need the flying dinosaur, the Morphodon, to take out Coolasuchus or Coolasaurus. This is hard. This is really hard. Like right now, just like destroying myself. Okay, 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 so we can do this. I know we can do this. We're going to, uh, sorry. Oh, I'm really yawning today. Let's try this. This will work. I know it will. You just have to believe that it will work. I'm not going to be able to use my Indominus. I know that for sure. Oh, it can't kill me in one hit. Oh, this just... Oh, this is so much better now. Now we have a fair game. Here we go. And it will not go for one attack. Okay, so now we're going to switch in here. With those two. See, I lined them up so now that... The coolest suit just lined up with the um, level 40. Yeah, the level 40. I hit it. Suchimimus. Okay, so I go for the two reserve. Oh my god, and my charger is right now. And my bubble froze. Oh no, it's going. It's just. Wow, that was really slow. Yeah, I gotta get this phone checked. Okay, so it has five now. Ooh, I just realized that he switched into the Suchimimus. Oops. I don't know where I was, but I was far, far away. Okay, so now he has. Take this guy out. Oh, I can't. Well, that sucks. Let's just redo that real quick. I don't know what's going on here. No, 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 nothing happened. We're not cheating. What? Fans? We're cheating? No, we're not. No, we're not. Go away. Just go away. Okay, now we can go. Wait, do I have this thing at full brightness? Yeah, I do. Okay. So, we come in with the coolest suit just, and we're just going to keep him there. Keep him right there. Four reserve, three block. There we go. Okay, so now he has seven. He shouldn't attack. Except he does. Which is totally fine, actually. Because now he only has one block. Yeah, he only has one block. Uh, swallow the yawn. Okay. So now I'm going to kill him right here. Here we go. Six, and then one, and then one reserve. There we go. Oh, fly! I've never seen your special. Oh, so he just. Oh, I've seen this special before. I didn't see him do it, but I've seen a special. This special. Okay. Cooler suit just come. Coolosaurus comes in and he's going to kill me. He's going to use three to kill me, which means he has one block. Okay, good. I'm I'm fine. I'm really not thinking that much about it. There we go. That kills him. There we go. And then one reserve. So to him, he thinks that I have one and three tw um, 200s can't kill me, so it's fine. I'm fine. Yeah. That can't kill me. Three of those? Uh-oh. 
<sighs> Sorry. Oh. Oh, no, 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 let's not do that. Let's not do that. Oops. I know, I know. I'm cheating a lot. I know. I know. But you know what? We're having fun in the process, which makes it okay. I don't know. But we'll live. Sue me, Ludia. Sue me. Please don't. Actually, don't sue me. Okay, so we can go for full out attack, and he is dead. He just got buried into his grave. Well, victory, yay! So I think um, from now on, whenever we have a Monsters of the Deep, it's going to be called The Pond. It's like a pond series. Yeah. I'm going to put in a new playlist called The Pond Series. Oh, hey, finally, you're using the rules. There's our coolest suchas, which can be taken out the Ostrophicosaurus. Oh, this is easy. See, look at that. I didn't even need the Anonymous Rex. I really wanted to show him off, though, so bad. Oh, yeah, I need my coolest suchas. Oh. Frick nuggets. Okay, we're going to have to do... This is where we don't play by the rules and we define everything that Jurassic World stands for. Um, well, that's not actually true. We don't, we're not like going against what Jurassic World stands for. We just are beating the game big time with, like, like I've always said, I think I've said it before, but ever since I started playing, a level 20 common can take out a level 40, level 40 common. A level 20 rare can take out a level 40 rare. A level 40 rare can take out a level, um, 40 super rare it's it's all about your strategy and how you play it if you play it the right way you'll win no doubt about it full-out amphibian team let's do this get into this battle so we just have to play it safe here and don't let this dude come in one reserve he has two reserves not going to attack he may actually switch out why, why would you do that? I think it's because he knew that he would die. But that's fine. Two can play. Two takes two to tango. As long as you know that, buddy. It takes two to tango. A Diploator and an Ostrophricosaurus to tango. That'd be a cool little fan art thingy. <laughs> an Ostrophricosaurus and a Diploator just like dancing. Eight reserves, so we go for the four attack. Oh, that's too bad. No, that's too bad. I don't know what he has now. I don't know if he has four. Okay, that's not So he has four. Let's go for the four attack again. Just go for two. Yeah, he went two. Okay, so we destroyed him there. But as soon as it hit, my charger unplugged. And it made a vibration. And now the vibrations are going to check that out again. Okay, good. Good, good. So we go for the four attack again. And I beat him. Oh, so close. Oh, go away, go away. You're not making anything fun. Okay, so he didn't kill me here. Full on eight. Okay, so it's going to come down to my coolest suchas. I, I mean, oh, the coolest. Yeah, the coolest suchas. His coolest suchas. And my, um, sucker suchas. But it's okay, I'm not letting that happen here. I'm gonna go for one reserve. <sighs> there we go. I mean, one reserve. Did I seriously say that? I'm not too sure what I said. I think I said one reserve. Okay. So, yeah. Now, like, the normal thing to do is just kill him with one hit. But we're not gonna play like that. We are going to see and show you guys if it is possible. I just want to waste all my goes in reserve and blocks that way if he attacks you can't do anything and we both restart come on attack so like i said oh oops i didn't mean to say that but it is possible i just screwed up big time now if it was just me and him in the same battle i would have won especially if we both started out at like one 
Oh, and then two, and then two, and then one. Why are you, why do you keep on doing this to me? Every single time a dinosaur dies. Oh, every single time a dinosaur, a dinosaur dies, it just does that. So let's do that. Yeah, I didn't want to go against six blocks. That would be just a little bit dumb, just a little bit. Okay, so he has four reserve. And attack! Oh. Spin, yay. If you like this video, um, comment, subscribe, and give it a huge thumbs up. That would be very well appreciated. It's not over yet, but I'm just saying now. It would be really nice. Okay. Super, I mean, just a regular rare. Oh, we got a Trianodon thingy. Trianotitan. Trianotitan. What is he, like a Titan? That's pretty cool. Oops. Thing went off again. Okay, so that's about it to do in this episode. Um, let's just make sure. Yeah, that's about it. Actually, I want to... S I don't know if I want to, if I don't want to, or what I want to do. Put my Tyrannodite in now. Yeah, I'm going to put it in this guy now. And then... There you go. So yeah, this is going to be part of the um, Pond series, which is referring to this. And every single time there's a Monsters of the Deep battle... Or anything to do with... Oh, wait, let me load this up so you guys can see. Anytime there's anything to do with Monsters of the Deep or a What Lies Beneath. Monsters of the Deep or What Lies Beneath kind of rhymes. It does actually rhyme, I think. Um, but any single time that there's something like that, I'm going to be putting it in this Pawn series. So yeah, that's going to be the Pawn series. Well, sorry. <clears throat> Whenever you're watching this, it's, it, it is the pod series. So this has been one of my pod series episodes. If you like this, give it a huge thumbs up. Kind of a new series, so it would be very well appreciated to know whether or not you want me to keep on going with this, or you want me to stop, or you just want, or you're just fine with it. Post it in the comments below. But if you did like this, give it a huge thumbs up. If you are not subscribed, please do subscribe. That would be very well appreciated. And I will see all you guys later. Goodbye.